Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Sutcliffe and I'm a technical engineer for Fuse2 Communications. Um, we're a telecoms um, unified infrastructure and deployment company based in the north. Um, we're actually currently based in Bolton, just the north of Manchester. Um, and basically today I'm going to be talking to you about how I would deploy and support the unified communications platforms as well. Part of these slides, um, I only have 20 minutes, so I'll be going over our partner portal, um, which we call Edge, um, and then further towards the end of that, I'll be talking about a, an overlay for Microsoft Teams for call recording called Atmos, um, and that is provided by this gentleman here, um, who is a representative for Call Cabinet. Just to give you a bit of background on Fuse 2 Communications, um, we own our own carrier grade network using ribbon SBCs. Um, those SBCs are and were the first um, supported by Microsoft for Teams Direct Routing. Um, so we have a mesh kind of topology of those now worldwide, um, all paired together, ready to send calls globally. Um, firstly, our Edge Partner Portal is offered to all new partners that we take on at Fuse 2. Um, this um, example you see here is the main dashboard, which is all about the sales and the quotes. Um, good for a sales team. You can see all the monitors are on a rolling seven-day period. So every single time you add something, it'll increase on the monitors. Um, and then you can see in the bottom right as well, we have a six-month pie chart, which is basically just sales as a percentage um, of revenue in that six-month period. Every monitor is fully adjustable, so you can simply add new things um, within the settings of the portal, um, such as more quotes. Um, if you want a monitor purely just on sales, you can have it on sales, and that's based on everything that you've ordered within that portal. Um, just a bit more background on the partner portal. It offers full customer management solutions, so that is your customer names, your addresses, contact information, company um, VAT numbers and things like that, that are all linked into something we call our white labeled billing platform. So if you have your own customers and you order all of their services through ourselves or necessarily don't, you just take on the direct routing, for example. We also have the ability to input through Edge your white labeled services, which we consider those that you're already offering to your customers through other providers. Um, we just make sure that everything appears on the same invoice on the first of every month. Um, that kind of benefits customers in the way of they receive one invoice rather than multiple from various different providers. Um, Edge also, um, we have a CLI whitelisting opportunity now. Um, I don't know if you may be aware. Um, the telecoms industry recently has been affected by surcharge um, restrictions. And that's basically the main carriers, especially in the UK, are now enforcing um, legalities in terms of sending wrong CLIs. Um, a CLI is a calling line identifier, and that is simply what you see when you receive a call. If that is in the wrong format or it isn't long enough, um, which can happen, you would instantly get a £2 surcharge just for starting that call, um, which, as you can imagine, racks up very quickly. Within Edge, you can whitelist those CLIs, which basically just means no matter what, if it's not in that whitelisted page, it won't send, which saves you and your customers a hell of a lot of money. Um, within that as well, we also have a prize profile um, system, which is a, on a customer basis, you can set up their pricing structure based on what was previously agreed. Um, and that constantly stays within Edge. So with the full manipulation of quantities on everything from phone numbers to concurrent calls that they can make within Microsoft Teams, it'll simply follow that pricing structure and update it on the invoice ready for the end of the month. Here's an example of the actual customer management page. Um, it's a little bit far away, but the far left is actually the auto-generated customer codes that are created within Edge. They're actually used with the Microsoft domains that Edge automatically produces to get people onto Microsoft Teams direct routing as fast as possible. Um, they're also linked with your billing, so everything is symmetrical from start to finish. 
I have redacted customer names on this example, but you can see one of the columns in the middle is actually the price profiles column. So you can see the top ones are on a generic customer profile. Um, this partner in question sells everything at the same rate. However, they do have a large um, kind of customer base in the education sector, which you can see towards the bottom, they've set up a score price profile um, where everything's slightly discounted. Um, we do also have the option for assigning account managers. The column's currently empty on this one just for security. Um, but this allows any of your sales managers or anyone um, that has access to Edge to assign themselves an account. So if they've made the sale, they've arranged everything with the customer, their name is on it, and that is a searchable field throughout the entirety of Edge. So they can always find out things that are to do with them. Um, with Edge as well, we do now offer direct routing automation, um, and that is done through APIs that connect to our Ribbon SBCs and our core platform, and that automatically creates domains using the customer code, which once are assigned on your Azure Admin Center um, or your Microsoft Teams Admin Center, they'll produce something called a TXT record, which we can verify in as little as 10 minutes which means in theory and the quickest we've got it down to is we can get you a working phone system in 15 minutes. With this as well, um, we do actually have two domains for our Microsoft Teams um, direct routing. So that basically means no matter what, we've always got a redundant um, SPC, which is what handles the calls. Um, so if anything fails for whatever reason, it'll always use a backup route. To add to that as well, we also have backup number functionality, and that simply means every single number that you assign with us that is connected to direct routing, you can assign a mobile number to that or anything external, and it means if that call cannot connect through our string of carriers or through our network, it'll simply back it up and send it to your mobile instantly. So that call can always be answered. We also have through Edge um, on net CLI changing, um, which basically just means every single number again within direct routing, you can set what you want that to appear as when people receive those calls. Um, this can benefit main companies um, because each employee will receive their own DDI, but they can all present the main line number on, the, on outbound. Here's an example of an actual Microsoft Teams service. Um, on the left, you'll actually see the quantities currently set at two, and that just means anyone in this organization can actually make two concurrent calls at once. Um, for whatever reason, if they needed to increase that, you simply type in a new quantity and click save, and within a most around five seconds, that will update, and they can make that extended amount of calls. Um, as we were saying previously, the bottom left actually has an example of a phone number assigned to this account. Um, the middle column is the backup number, so if for whatever reason on an inbound call, the calls didn't connect to the number that's built to diary routing, it would send that call to the backup mobile number to make sure that that person always receives the calls. The network CLI changing you can see is on the far right, and that's for outbound calls, and it means anyone calling outbound from that number will always present the main line, and that's actually our main line number. In the bottom right as well, just to touch on it, there are actually two generated um, Microsoft Teams domains. Um, I've blurred out the customer code which was used to make sure these are authenticated within the admin center. Um, but we always manage to create two, get the two connected, and that allows for load balancing between the two. Um, you actually have the opportunity of choice, so you can choose if you want all of your calls to balance themselves between both domains or if you want them all to prioritize one route until it cannot connect and then use the other. That's done on a percentage basis and you can tell us which percentages you want those domains to be configured to. We do offer again, um, I just touched on it slightly at the start, we do offer the white label billing service. So that includes your logo, your address, your bank details. Um, and again, all services you offer outside of our network that you've maybe purchased elsewhere or you provision and give to them, your customers yourself, um, we will make sure that that appears on the same invoice and is again sent to your customers directly on the first. This gives me enough time to move on to Atmos by Call Cabinet, um, which is a cloud call recording AI and an analytics overlay for Microsoft Teams. Um, Atmos is the world's most secure and scalable um, native car recording, uh, cloud-native car recording solution. 
with its own AI enabling um, kind of transcription. It auto redacts private information such as bank details and things like that, and that automatically is done on the la on the go. So you can simply log into that Atmos page, find those recordings, and you'll see the transcripted call, which is all of the words spoken in text form. Um, you'll see the redacted chunks of the call, which are hashed out, and that is basically just to make sure that it is the most call, uh, the worldwide most compliant call recording solution there is. Um, just to move on, we do also have a seamless integration with Microsoft Teams um, that has been configured by um, Call Cabinet themselves when designing Atmos. Um, it uses a 256-bit rotating encryption methodology to make sure all of your stored calls and data um, is locked away just for your access. Um, and this can be accessed from any cloud-based HTML5 browser. So your recorded data is available to you wherever you are. Um, a key thing that Atmos provides is it is actually um, one of the most secure in terms of legal usage as well for storing your call data. It actually meets basically every global compliance regulation there is. Um, here's an example of some of the main ones that you may be affected by depending on your industry. So we here, we've got MIFID 2, which is a common one, HIPAA, which is highly important in the health industry, um, and then everybody's favorite, GDPR. Um, Atmos as well, um, it's secure stored data in the global Azure data centers, um, which basically just mean you can also meet within those regulations local data sovereignty standards. So you can have all of your data ensured that it is stored local to where you are, uh, and that basically just means all of your data will be in Azure data centers within the country you're in, or even the local geographic area you're in, wherever the closest data center is. Um, Part of Atmos as well is it offers N plus one deployments or two N deployments to make sure that all of your data is recorded fully um, and is kept is full efficiency basically. So all of your data is always there um, no matter how, which option you choose to, um, to use. Some reasons why you may choose Atmos um, is that it has the capability to capture all modalities. So it can capture voice calls, video calls, and it um, also has the capability for content sharing calls, which are your screen recorded calls. Um, it can record both the vocal um, discussions in there, so anything audio related, and it has the ability to record the actual screen as well while you are on those calls. And that stores those data in the same as your um, data centers. One second. These all link as well with its AI that actively complete ASR transcription, um, categorization, and allow for searching after the fact that you've made that call. So within the Atmos platform, you can search for specific terms or phrases that may have happened in those calls. So if your government, uh, no, if your government, if your company requires at the end of every call, they ask how the, their experience was, you can search for the phrase that you require them to use and ensure every single call has met that standard. You'll see at the bottom of the current slide as well, these are the main kind of reasons why you may need to um, or be benefit, beneficial from Atmos. Um, and these are all across multiple industries. So for example, um, we've got dispute resolution is a key one for the education secretary um, sec section of the economy. Because if, for example, you've got a dispute with parents or any other part of the educational sector, you've always got record of who's discussed what, who spoke about what and every member of staff or employee within the organization can always make sure it's led on from the last point. Here is a quick example of a call that was recorded within Atmos um, by Call Cabinet. Um, you can see at the top left, it's automatically pulled the data from the Teams Admin Center based on who answered that call. So that's their name, any other information that's stored within there. You can see as well, it's got a full access log. So again, for um, compliance standards, you've always got record of who's viewed that call, who's listened to the call, who's pressed play, anything related to it. You've also got an example of a call down below. So you can see here, there is actually a redacted section, and that may be a section where a bank card number was read out or anything that cannot be recorded um, to meet those compliance standards has automatically been removed. 
down at the bottom as well, you've got the transcription of that call. So as you play back that feature, you will see the transcription move along as well in, in a colored format. We also, on the right, have an example of the screen that was actually shown during that call. So anything that was discussed within that call, you've got the screen that they were uh, discussing. That leads me to the end of my presentation um, by Fuse Do Communications about Edge and Atmos by Call Cabinet. If you do have any further questions about Edge, you can come and speak to myself and I can answer them as best as I possibly can. Um, I am actually the Edge manager um, at Fuse 2, so I'm probably the best person to speak to anyway. And if you would like any questions or answers on Atmos, I am here with Alex who can answer those for you. Yeah.